Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. While that other video was loading, I thought a triangle would be a pretty cool item to do this intertwine or intermittent uh, item. Triangle is a little bit more difficult. Get your uh, polygon tool and draw out a four-sided polygon. You'll see here in just a second and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then change it to a three-sided. That way the center of the polygon or the triangle is right here where the Corel is showing it is right there. Then go to effects and contour and contour with mitered corners like that. And immediately go to objects and break the contour apart or you'll have some problems. Now we need to control D and make a duplicate and then move the center rotation to the center. A lot of times it doesn't look like it is. And you need to go, well, it's 60 degrees. And there you have it. Now just kind of use your imagination what's going to go under and over. So we're going to go getting the Smart Fill tool. That's under. That's over. So you're going to stop right there because the next one is going under. Then, like in the previous video, grab all those and go to the Contour tool or the Weld tool and weld that. And then go, and I'm just going to do a gray one on this one, go to your Interactive Fill tool and just draw you that. And then, you know, add some color by double clicking right there. Let's add a, and I'm, I'm still using CMYK and I don't like that. And then grab you some dark, put on the ends. You can do it either way like this or drag it in. That looks pretty good. You wouldn't really want to look at it if you want to get it done right. You want more of the gray right in here. So we're going to grab that tool again, and you either can move this. Whoop. You can either move this so it's more in the middle, or you can always double-click and add another one, which is going to elongate that uh, portion of that right there, and you can always move these. So we're going to call that good. Now grab that, control D and make a duplicate and move the center rotation to the center of the, uh, of the page. And that's why I do it and rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, rotate it 120 degrees. Control D, control D, control D. And then like in the previous video, select it all and right click no outline. So you won't have an outline. That's a pretty cool, um, Pretty cool effect. It actually, I mean, the triangle looks like it's intermittent with the other. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.